Hi, it's British Illusion, and um, just a quick note about Salute. I obviously didn't make it uh, through work commitments. Um, I was going with a mate of mine as well. He couldn't make it either because of work commitments, but we both said we're definitely going to do it next year, come rain or shine, because the main reason is Beckers is coming from Australia again, so for that reason alone, I'm definitely going to go. So uh, that aside, as you can probably see, um, Cthulhu um, Mansions of Madness, I've painted up the entire box. That's what I've been doing over these last couple of weeks. So um, I'm going to show you this, and uh, I think the following video I'll probably jump back onto uh, Flames of War because I've been uh, tittering with that uh, since I've been painting this. So um, I'll quickly hit the deck and show you what I've been doing. Yeah, it's a monster of a game this is. Uh, look at the box, it's huge. That's the um, app running in the background. Obviously you need this uh, app to, uh, it's a free download to play the game because it does all the housekeeping for you. So I won't go into that, uh, but you can see that playing in the background. And uh, it, it does really give the game a lot of uh, all the sort of the creepy sounds and stuff, as you can hear. So kicking off, these are the um, haunting horrors. Just to get, there's only two of them in the set. Uh, this is the biggest piece of the lot. This is a star spawn, I think uh, the spawn of Cthulhu himself. So they were really easy to paint, just green and a bit of dry brushing and then I made that all glistening at the front. So they're pretty cool. Then you've got the cultists. Let's pick one of these up. Fairly easy to do. And then you've got the cultist leader or the was it priest of dragon. And let's get a zoom in on his face because I quite like his face. It looks really eerie. Really eerie. There you go. Uh, and then ooh, you've got the crowded mobs. That's what they are. Or riots, the rioting mobs. This is a weird one. I don't know. I'm going to get one of them. Child of Dragon. Ooh. So he's pretty cool. Not the best miniatures, to be honest. Um, being a miniature, loving miniatures, I've seen a lot better sculpts than these. Uh, this is a generic ghost. A lot of cleaning up sometimes on these, and loads of mould lines. But eh, it's a ball game. It's not supposed to be uh, sort of for miniatures, really. This is a what is it? A deep one hybrid. So it's one of the uh, evolving deep ones get four of them like massive fugs these are quite good I like painting these these are the deep ones quite scary looking put a bit of a gloss on these a bit of a shine and then the investigators I put some tiles out so you can see the detail on the tiles they are really nice tiles um, you got the secretary over here it's one of the investigators reminds me of one of Scooby-Doo's pack uh, you've got the priest, you've got the psychologist, oh I'm not sure what she is actually, some sort of investigator of cults, and then you've got the butler, and then Mr Fairmont, the millionaire, then on over here, see that, and if I zoom back a bit, that's the hallway, what we got here that's the uh, the ballroom and then over here we've got what's that oh it's the lounge this is the weirdest investigator an athlete what sort of athlete what sort of in investigator would go to a sort of a possible haunted house with Miss Offs and Cthulhu dressed in a running outfit I don't know there you go uh, the grave digger, obviously, you've got to have a grave digger. And then the, uh, I don't know the way they call this one, it's the urchin, but she looks really cute. Let's zoom in on her. I like the urchin. I think they should call her the maid. Got a candlestick. So, yeah, uh, really enjoyed painting them. Um, had a little bit of a game with them the other day, but. Uh, I was playing it here and obviously you can see there's not much room you get a couple of tiles out and it, it fills up so I had to stop but I got the sort of basic concepts especially having the app running in the background it's it makes a big difference because I think first edition 
I saw someone uh, was saying on YouTube, he, he had a PhD in uh, business studies and it took him nearly two to three hours to set the game up before they even started because you have to have a game uh, master to run the game. Whereas this, you just that is the game master, is your laptop or your uh, your mobile phone and it does it all for you. So you can, you know, you can have up to five players all having a bit of fun. A bit of Cthulhu madness. All right, okay, next week back on uh, Flames of War. Cheers, thanks for watching. See you later.